is a new book in our library. Um, it's called Ground Zero. It's by Alan Gratz. He's the same author that wrote um, Refugee, and his stories are really amazing. Um, Ground Zero is um, where the Twin Towers in New York happen, and the story is about a boy named Brandon, and he lives in New York. He gets in trouble in school, and he gets suspended, and so he has to go to work with his dad because his dad has nowhere else to take him, and he needs supervision. Um, and so he goes to work with his dad, and it just happens to be on 9-11, which is the day that the Twin Towers are attacked. And the story follows him um, handling the attack on the Twin Towers and um, about survival. And <clears throat> every other chapter is about Rashmina, and she lives in Afghanistan in a small village, and she lives very close to the Taliban and where they are in the mountains, and she has a twin brother, and... Um, her, um, one day her village, um, an American soldier comes with some Afghan soldiers and they are knocking on the doors of the villagers looking for weapons. And <clears throat> because they've heard that there are weapons and Rashmina knows that her brother or someone, um, has told the American soldiers to come to this village. So, and check for weapons, but really it's a trap in the Taliban attack. And so, and they kill the majority of the Americans. And so her brother decides he's going to join the Taliban and she goes to follow him. And as she does, she discovers a wounded American soldier. And um, he asks for her to help him. And it's in um, their culture and in their belief that if you ask for help, you give help. And so she brings the soldier back to her house and uh, she's very... Um, concerned about it and everyone's very concerned about it because if they get found harboring an American uh, soldier um, then it means death for everyone. Well by the time she gets the soldier back to her home the Americans have decided they're coming back for their fallen soldier and they start attacking the Taliban and the village. And so um, Rashmina, this is also a, a story of survival and she um, tells the village, oh yes, I know what we should do. We should hide because the Taliban are coming for them and now the Americans and lots of civilians die um, when there's an attack on a village. And so they go into a cave and of course you know if there are bombs and explosion, a cave would collapse. So um, it follows two stories and then kind of weaves them together um, in your understanding of actual historical events um, with some really exciting fictional um, chapters and each chapter so it's every other chapter is about Brandon and every other chapter is about Rashmina and um, each end of the chapter you're just left wanting to continue to read about that particular um, person and then you go and read about the other one so you read about New York and then you read about Afghanistan and then you read about New York and then you read about Afghanistan and it's so exciting that you can't stop turning the pages um, it's a relatively, um, it's just a, a moderate read. Like you definitely have to think about it, but it definitely um, falls in line historically um, with the events that happened on 9-11. I couldn't put it down and I highly recommend it.